Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how I achieve a permod set using products from Trey Lux. I have the Untie the Knot Leave-In Conditioner and the Reflex Pearl Styling Serum and tons of purple permods. I've actually already co-washed and this time I use the Myel Organics Detangling Co-Wash. I'm going to go ahead and remove the towel from my head and show you guys the before and start with my permod set process. I already have my permods ready to go and I'm going to be using the purple 11 16th inch permods which is going to stretch my hair and give me a larger curl. First step is using the Untie the Knot Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner from Trey Lux. You're going to use about half a pump on small sections of your hair. You don't want them to be too big because you want the hair to wrap evenly and flat around the perm rods. I love, love, love using the Demon Brush because it helps me detangle and smooth each and every section. It also helps me distribute the product from the roots to the ends of the hair. The next product I'm going to be using is the Silk Elements Pure Oils Argan Oil. All I really need is about two to three drops of this and then I also distribute that through each section. And the final product I'm going to be using before wrapping the section around a perm rod is the Reflex Pearl Styling Serum from Trey Lux. I only need like maybe a dime size of this. And I distributed the hair using the Demon Brush again. And this really helps define the curl. So I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping around. And you want to make sure that it is as smooth as possible and it lays flat on the perm rod. Once I'm done, I like to make sure that the perm rod is as close to my scalp as possible without causing any pain or pulling. So I might have to do a little bit of extra rolling. And then I lock it up and start on the next one. Okay, so now that you guys have the order of the products down, let's take a closer look so you guys can see how I put my perm rods in. The products are already applied and my hair is detangled. And I'm just going to go ahead and start wrapping around the perm rod. Notice how I'm trying not to overlap too much or at all. Keep it very minimal. You want to make sure that your hair can form to the perm rod and also dry quicker. Now just close it up and repeat until you've done your whole entire head. I do let my hair dry for about one to two hours before going to bed, but when I do go to bed, I like to cover it up with a satin bonnet so then my perm rods don't rub all over my pillowcase. After probably the most uncomfortable sleep a natural can experience with perm rods in, it's time to take these babies out and I'm going to be using my Sweet Nature Ooh La La Hydrating Hair Glaze to prevent frizz. Let's slow it down a little bit. So when you're taking your perm rods out, you want to make sure that you're not doing it too fast and messing up the curls that you've created. Once you've taken them all out, you can start to separate and fluff. I only separate mine about 
two, maybe three times, just the same way that I do my twist outs. Then I use my afro pick to create volume at the roots and shape my fro. Definitely take your time with this part. If you need to do some picking for volume or separating more curls, go for it girl. I don't know how much time I spend on fluffing my hair, but I know it's a lot. I may be just a little bit of a perfectionist, but what girl doesn't want her hair to look good? Oh yes, I'm about to slay these curls, y'all. I love me a good twist out, but I'm so happy that I got to show you guys my perm wrap process. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how I achieve my holiday crease cut makeup. See you beauties in the next one. Bye.